seeing them together really, really makes me want another baby, like, ASAP. <laughs> Good morning. I'm really excited today because I am finally starting to get what each of my plants in the garden actually needs. So I'm no longer almost murdering them. So like my tomatoes were doing so bad before and um, I figured out the amount of water and the nutrition that they actually need. And now I have little blossoms. And this one has little tomatoes. I am gonna forego watering anything today because the forecast says there is going to be rain, which I don't know if that's actually true because they said it was gonna rain overnight. So we brought all the furniture back inside and nothing happened. And it looks like the sun's actually gonna break through the clouds, so I really don't know. Yeah, and pretty much everything is damp still anyway. My terracotta loves to sweat when it's plenty damp. I'm kind of still in this, like, brain fog funk, and I'm really hoping that vlogging can help me kind of break out of that today because I am meeting one of my Lost Mama friends today. For anyone that doesn't know, I have a group chat on Facebook with about eight of us. And all of us kind of lost our babies around the same time, whether it was miscarriage or premature delivery, stillbirth, or, you know, death after being born. And I've already met one of them up in Washington, and um, we just, we all love each other so much. They are my people, and I'm finally going to meet another one today. The wonderful thing, too, is that her rainbow baby was born how many months after Kieran? A few a few months after Kieran. So it's going to be Kieran's first time meeting another baby, and I am I'm a little bit nervous, honestly, because he's never really socialized with other babies, but I'm also really excited to see how he interacts, because I noticed that when he was around um, my nieces and nephews and some of the younger nieces and nephews, he really just watched them like, ooh, it's a, it's a smaller person, you know? So I want to see how, how he's going to take seeing another baby. It's going to be, it's going to be adorable. <laughs> so that is going to be happening in a little bit here. I think she's getting lunch right now and then she's going to head over. But um, later on, Cameron's best friend since he was like in fifth grade is actually on vacation with his family in um, Orange County. And they're going to come up here and have dinner with us later this evening and meet Kieran for the first time. It's also going to be my first time meeting this friend, so. Oh my god, a hummingbird. Look at that. The hummingbird in my garden. Oh my gosh, hi. Sorry, ADHD. A squirrel, you know. <laughs> Speaking of ADHD, hopefully today is one of the last days that I am going to have to deal with all of the craziness in here. The forgetfulness has been driving me crazy. And it's not traditional forgetfulness where my mind just forgets something. It's like, it's literally like, I'm gonna go do something. <laughs> Example this morning, I saw my candle and I was like, I'm gonna go light my candle. So I walked over to where the lighters are and then I saw my mug sitting at my Keurig and I was like, oh, I need to make coffee. And then I started making coffee and I totally forgot why I walked over which was to get the lighter to light my candle. <laughs> but again, it's it's stuff like that all day long, and I'm hoping it's gonna be one of the last days I'm dealing with that because I am speaking to a psychiatrist on Monday. I just finished my visit with my friend and it went so well. I really love when you, when you meet someone that you've been talking to online for a really long time. It's just like instantly you're just so comfortable and there's n none of that weird like, awkward or or anxious membrane to work through it was just it was so nice i felt the same way when i met the other friend up in washington we're just like i i already know you <laughs> it was such a nice visit and um kieran just adored my friend's rainbow baby he did super super well he was super engaged he shared his toys <laughs> it was really cute at one point they were both trying to eat the same toy like and me and my friend were joking that it was like, okay, you eat that side, I'll eat this side. 
Uh, but seeing them together really, really makes me want another baby, like, ASAP. But anyway, it is finally time. It is time. Because Kieran is now everywhere and starting to get into everything. And he's now trying to climb up onto things. So I have to baby proof. I got some items that came in the mail today. Gonna go around the house and just cover all the outlets. This is for the outlet that's here in the living room next to his play area. And then I know I talked about this earlier in another vlog, but we are starting to have him play in his room a lot more. At some point, we are going to be moving his crib in here in the next two, maybe three months. So I've been having him spend a lot of time in his room playing. Really needed something to prevent him from coming down the stairs, so we put the baby gate up. Originally, we bought this to keep our special needs cat in our, our bed bathroom area just so we wouldn't have to worry about the cat coming and like crawling on him and stuff but she doesn't really even go near him so we don't have to worry about that you ready to go out for dinner huh you ready Trying to get all of my notes ready because Lord knows I'm going to forget something that I need to talk about. I have 15 minutes now. I need to drink more coffee. I don't know why I'm nervous. I think it's because a lot of times people try to get these medications for the wrong reasons and there's like this big vetting process and unfortunately the doctor that diagnosed me and was prescribing me for a while she when i moved to a different doctor she wouldn't send my records over and i thought it was just me like or maybe you know, who knows what was going on but i recently checked up on her reviews on google and a lot of people are saying the same thing that she wasn't sending records to new doctors and everything. And um, I feel like that's illegal. But if this new doctor is gonna want my records, I think it's gonna be very hard to get them. And who knows if the, the other psychiatrist actually even has them still, because it has been like 11 years. More than anything, I just really want the relief of being on the proper medication. And it, it sucks how sometimes people who are seeking those, those meds for the wrong reasons can ruin it for people who actually need it. 10 minutes now. Wish me luck. Well, that's cool. I've never had a telehealth appointment before. It was, a, it was really cool. It was cool to be able to kind of just sit in my living room and talk to somebody. We have a game plan though. I have to go get a physical and an EKG. And then I also have to retake the, the ADHD test to be retested for that to figure out what type. Because I guess now they have types instead of what I was told in 2012. The other really cool thing is that I am being referred to their therapy department. So I can hopefully start getting regular therapy now that I have insurance that actually covers it. It's going to be nice. It's going to be really nice. Because for years... Um, even when I had really fantastic, like, top-tier insurance through SAG-AFTRA, it would not cover mental health. It's going to be really nice to be able to afford mental health, and it's probably the first time in my life where I'm actually going to be able to afford it because I have insurance that actually covers it. Like, this is... I'm excited. I'm excited to see how things are going to change.